uh, version of Soft Image. And really before we get into the, the fun of all this, I want to show you something I find pretty incredible. Uh, it's the new beta of the, uh, the Arnold rendering engine from Solid Angle. They were kind enough to let me show that all off to you today, and I've been talking on my blog about uh, giving you a little teaser of that. So check this out. We've got uh, I got a little cup here that's been shattered. And it's kind of hard to see because, well, it's in shaded view right now, and there's three million spheres on the screen right now. Watch this. I'm just going to draw a render region by pressing the Q key, <laughs> and I can't even finish talking yet. It's done. That's uh, 3 million, 3 million 200,000 spheres that pretty much just began rendering instantly. Uh, and again, this is the Arnold rendering engine. It's in beta right now. It behaves and looks very similar to Mental Ray, the way it works with inside of uh, Softimage, the render region, the render tree. All that works. We're not going to talk about that too much, but it is pretty amazing to render your Lagoa simulations with this. So I'm just going to full screen there and, and check that out. Uh, here I can spin the camera around. We can see this really nicely. And we look at this from the back side. And you can see it's extremely interactive. Make a change. You know, if I change tune the colors, whatever, it all updates uh, immediately. So I'm using the ambient occlusion shader right now, which I think looks really cool with all these spheres. And uh, I'll show you a few little animations I've done here in a second. And then we'll uh, we'll talk about how we got them. So this is just a cup, just a piece of geometry. And I threw the, uh, in this case, the highly shattering or highly breakable um, Lagoa material and we get this effect, we get this result. So this is about uh, 90 frames into the simulation. I've got a nice rendering I can show you, but I just wanted to show you the speed that uh, that Arnold has. I just find this absolutely amazing. So pretty cool, whether or not you have depth of field on, motion blur, it all happens this interactive. So really good stuff coming out uh, real soon from, uh, from the guys at Solid Angle. So just wanted to give them props for that. But uh, before we take a look at some of the, uh, the stuff that we're going to do between Maya and Soft Image, let's take a look at a couple of videos. So I'm just going to run this. And just to show you some of the things that we're going to be talking about today, this is actually the scene that I've been rendering in front of you. Uh, this is the same, same cup, only animated. And you can see it really just fractures into thousands and thousands of pieces. Same shot again, just a bit closer up. It's really just amazing to see all those little tiny spheres just interconnected with one another, all reacting with one another. Uh, this shot here is probably my favorite, I think, of this scene. Just look at the tearing that you get there in the top of the cup. You really see how well the fracturing happens. And here we've got uh, depth of field on. So you'll notice there's blurring in the foreground and background. Here's a mouse trap. <laughs> I whipped up one late one evening. I thought that'd be fun to simulate. And that's uh, just over an evening to simulate all that. Here's a top-down view of the same shot. <laughs> it's just... If you like blowing things up, you'll have a lot of fun with Lagoa. Uh, and here's, uh, if you don't like blowing things up, you can turn things into jello. So that's a cool little jello cup, which was my first test, actually. So 